Okay, good morning. It is Saturday morning, early, um, May uh, 18th, and this is my baby, Cashmere. She's been up all night, and she's still not quite asleep. She, she hasn't turned in yet. I warned her not to because I'm going to clean her cage. Cashmere, come say hi to us. Cashmere is a winter white. She is a, what I believe to be a, a pearl, possibly a hybrid, probably not the real deal, but she's pretty close to it looking. I don't know. Cashmere, come on out and say hi. Cashmere, come here, poopy head. Okay, look at my baby girl. About um, two weeks ago, I noticed Cashmere's little nose was getting red, and around her nose was getting red. And, um, and then about four or five days ago, I saw some, what I thought to be either light pink blood streaks on her substrate or possibly, uh, I've read on, um, threads that it could be just their mucus cause their mucus supposedly is red or pink. So I don't know. I, I don't know, but I did notice that the substrate that I had been buying um, come on, Cashmere, come out, baby. I gotta change your cage. Um, is this right here? KT Clean and Closey. I've never had any issues with it. We have five hamsters in this house, and my daughters each have two, and I have one. And um, I, lo I love this stuff. Um, my oldest daughter has two Syrians, my youngest daughter has two Robos, and I have Cashmere, the winter white pearl. Like I said, I'm not sure. I don't really care. That's not what this video is about. This video is about why is my baby's nose red? And if yours is having this issue or you know someone who is, this could be the reason. I decided that uh, KT is a little bit dusty, um, even though it says 99.9% .9 dust free. Um, my black and white Syrian that my daughter has, when we do ch cage changes, uh, and put the new substrate in. I notice when she burrows through, like she does also happily when they first get their nice clean cage back, you know how they just, they're running around, run, 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 run. And when she goes through it, her black fur is just coated with the little white things. Cashmere, come out and entertain. Come on. Come here. So um, I notice all these little dust particles on uh, bear, the Syrian, the black and white Syrian. And I thought, well, that's odd. You know, I've never noticed that before. Well, maybe KT has changed their substrate a little bit, or maybe um, it's just not as dust free as they think. So I did some research on the internet and, um, come here, baby. Um, I found a couple things that I want to try. And out of desperation, when I was at Walmart, I was looking at the three things that they sell for substrate, which is junk, but, um, come on, babe. They have one called Uber on the shelves at my Walmart anyway, here in Cleveland, Tennessee. And, uh, I picked it up and I started reading on it. And of course they all claim to be 99%, um, dust free. The one I want to try is, um, called, uh, it's by Oxbow. I've never bought Oxbow's products before. Um, cause they tend to cater towards guinea pigs, but, um, come on, babe, come out and look, I'm taking your wheel away. Bye-bye wheel. What is mommy doing to my cage? <gasps> look, mommy's got her cage. I'm taking it away. I'm taking it out. Oh, what's going on? Mommy's taking my food. Come on. Come, you know, it's Saturday. You know, it's clean day. Come on. Come on out. So um, I went ahead and bought this Uber just to tide me over because I knew Saturday was coming and I didn't want to put her back in that same KT substrate. And so I figured I'd try this Uber first. Um, the Oxbow stuff that I want to try. Um, if this Uber does good and she clears up, her nose clears up, I'm not going to go any further. And from what I've seen already this morning and why I'm making this video, I want to show you some proof. You need proof. Um, here is a clean bucket 
of KT. This is clean. This little tub is clean and I put the KT substrate in it. Okay, well, I'm going to do a demonstration. This is the Uber from Walmart, which also claims to be 99.9%. Uh, .9%. It doesn't say that right there, but it does say it somewhere. Where does that say 99% dust free? There we go, right there. So anyway, I've never had any faith in any of Walmart's off-brand stuff. And this may not be off-brand. Maybe I just live in Podunk, Cleveland, Tennessee and hadn't heard of it. <laughs> but um, so I got a tub of Uber right out of the box. So here we're going to do a comparison. And how we're going to do it is I'm going to film in the streak of the sunlight where you will be able to see dust particles and which one has the most. Well, first we're going to start off with the Uber. Now concentrate on the airspace above here in the sun. When, you, when I start to stir it, concentrate on the dust particles that you see fly up, okay? Again, this is Uber going now. As I ruffle and sprinkle, you'll see everything as it's falling down. Can you see those dust particles? This is not a bad video. Like, oh, well, this isn't a bad video. This is, I just can't really see anything. Yeah, you can. You can see stuff floating around and flying around. It looks like a bunch of little tiny bugs. That's the Uber. I'm gonna try to get a better view. Let me test it in the sunlight like this. See the particles? You see them flying around? That is dust particles. Which, you know, you could do that to anything and you're gonna get dust particles. You do it to your hair. You know, after a shower, you'll see it in the sun. Might all three of us have long curly hair and our hair does it all the time. When we do it, we go, oh, look at the dust in your hair. It's just, that's normal stuff. That's that 0.9% that you're going to find. Okay, so that's Uber. Let's quickly switch the Uber out for the KT Clean and Cozy. Which, I got to tell you, to the touch, this is softer to my fingers. It's very soft, like toilet paper, um, like touching um, toilet paper you would see at um, a movie theater or a school versus that soft stuff at a grandma's house. I mean, then the difference is night and day to the touch as far as softness goes, but that's not always a good thing. Watch. KT substrate. You cannot tell me you don't see the dust particles in that. It's like stinking snow. And they're they're just they're all uh, way up here on my ceiling. They're everywhere. If you were here, you would just be like, oh my god. And this is what was all over my black Syrian and and it gets stuck in their eyes. I mean you're gonna like I say, you're gonna get dust particles in any substrate. They cannot claim to be dust free. Um because everything's made of carbon and it's all got something like this in it. You're going to get it. But what feels, I mean, what produces the less is what you're wanting to go with. And this soft stuff, because it's softer, it's breaking apart. And those particles get in my baby's eyes and it got in my baby's nose. And it's irritating her, isn't it, cashmere? Come here, babe. Let's get you out of this and put you in this Uber stuff for a while. Maybe your nose will clear up. So I'm going to try this um, Uber with her. And um, we'll get back with you and let's see if, how it helps improve either this little 
what I hope to be just a sinus infection or a sneezy wheezy nose, or it could be an irritation and be a, a it could be a, a, a big problem. It could be an issue that's in her nose, but either way, I'm sure this substrate is not helping and this is the KT stuff and it's irritating her. So any kind of decrease in dust is going to help. So I'm going to put her in that Uber stuff. And I just thought you guys would like to know, soft to the touch, but wicked dusty. Kind of, it's not rough. It's just papery feeling, which is good. But it was much less dusty. Much, much less. So we are going to change it over and we'll let you guys know. Hope you like the video. Bye.